Tory Lanez has been taken into custody and he won't be sentenced to January 27th. What's up? What's going on? How y'all doing? How y'all feeling? Let's get down to the situation, but please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share the video, y'all. So let's get into this whole situation. Tory Lanez has been found guilty. He's been found guilty of three felonies and he's already have been taken into custody. And right now, you know, they're working on his immigration status. And basically it's been reported that when it comes to Tory Lanez, that he might be deported immediately in this situation. But before he went to trial, his lawyers were working with the immigration authorities to see if they can make something work or make something happen but in any event it's crazy and Tory Lane's father basically he went off you know on social media basically doing an interview in front of the courthouse calling out Jay-Z calling out, out the legal system call, calling out the justice system so let's check this out it's a whole lot going on in this situation so let's get into it You want to know exactly how I'm feeling? Yes, sir. I just stood here in this Los Angeles County and witnessed the worst miscarriage of justice yes. that this world has yes. ever seen. Yes. You want to know how I feel? I'll tell you exactly how I feel. I got some names that I want to call. Alex Spiro, Desiree Perez, and the whole Rock wicked Nation. system of Rock Nation, yep. including you, Jay-Z. Yes. Yes. You who yes. say you yes. rose from the gutter. But you have traded and bartered the souls of young men. And you're still doing it. The only independent witness in this courtroom is a man whose name is Sean Kelly. He came to court and our attorneys, he would not even shake their hand after he went upstairs with Kathy Ta. And Alex bought. They met on Saturday before. They met, they on met with our Saturday witness. Night. And then the man came back. And remember. I sat in the hallway while he sat with Jody Little, the prosecutor's investigator, who acted so dumb, an intelligent woman who did not want. Listen, I've seen so much evidence buried in this. Yeah. And I know exactly what the public out oh, here will yeah, say. Yeah. Don't talk. You will say, I say this because I'm a father. See, I am a father of thousands around the world. I am a father of my kids, but a spiritual father to many. And I don't make stupid allegations because I got nothing better to do. You all have been bartering and trading the souls of young black and brown men yes. in this country. And I'm calling on all the umbrellas. I'm calling on everybody in this country to begin to rise up That's because right. your sons yes. have been done right. dirty. though we have come to this juncture trust me you will see that our god does not fail this is not the i know that, right. that this is wickedness right. this district attorney miss kathy ta is the same one that witnessed or knew that five sheriff's deputies in la county beat up a spanish man with the last name carrillo until the guy was beaten to uh, and passed out. ABC News interviewed that man after Eyewitness News. And he said, I thought I would never be here to see my child born. And I would never been able to be around to see my other child rise up. But I'm telling you, this court system is not for justice. It's about wins and losses. And they do dirty to do whatever they can. Jay-Z, let me speak to you. He has kids. Rock Let me Nation. talk to you. Yes. Because my son refused to sign a Rock yes. Nation yes. Uh, deal with you. Yes. And Desiree Perez, you wicked witch, you snitch. Yes. You turned on your coast conspirators, all the whole mafia one of you that was peddling drugs in this country. And you rolled on them before so the Fed could give you a deal. Now you think it's all of you, trust me. I have intercessors, prayer warriors around the world, and they will not stop until you are cut off. Yes. No, we don't shoot you with guns, but we know exactly how to bring you down in the spirit. They That's all it. have children. Enough they said. all have children. It's all done. Let's go.
Like open way, open way, open way, guys. Open up, open up, open up, open up, open up, open up. Open up. Wait, my brother's reputation. Mike. You want to know exactly how I'm feeling? Yes, sir wrote it executed and things of that nature and they were innocent and blase in a third if it wasn't for some of the innocent projects baby there still would be a whole lot of people in jail but in any event we're gonna see how this is going to play out i know tory lanes and his people they're going to appeal the decision yes yeah, so you see tory lane's father he is upset and basically he's saying that the reason why his son is guilty is because jay-z is upset with tory lane's because he would not sign to rock nation and he basically saying that you know jay-z is taking young man's souls okay like so what do y'all think about this whole situation and also tory lane's father he states that the only independent witness in this case um, basically was meeting with the prosecution. His, his girlfriend said that, oh, the prosecution met with the witness on Saturday. And then Tory father says that he's seen the independent witness meet with the prosecution again in court, go upstairs and talk to them. And he's saying that the independent witness would not say hello to Tory Lane's lawyers because they was actually his witness, not the prosecution team witness. And so he didn't shake their hand and he wouldn't talk to Tory's father at all. So basically what Tory Lane's father is trying to say is that there has been witness tampering. So I don't know if they're going to to use that as an appeal to try to appeal the decision of the guilty verdict that the jury led down you know he's guilty of three felony accounts so in any event that's a whole crazy situation because that witness he said his name was sean kelly sean kelly got up there and said that you know tory lanes was you know firing off and saying all types of things so in any event i'm pretty sure the defense wouldn't have put the witness on if they knew that he was gonna say that did they talk to the witness like what's going on like what is happening so you guys let me know what you think about this whole situation it is crazy out here in these streets but it seemed like through all everything that was going on the lies the truth you know it seems like the court came down you know 12 jurors with a guilty verdict so what do you guys think is he guilty or is he not guilty so <clears throat> Let's get down to Tory Lane's charges. Tory Lane has been charged with three felonies. Felony neglect, um, discharging of a firearm, assault with a semi-automatic firearm, and carrying a loaded, unregistered firearm. Kalan Tory in prison for 22 years and also being deported. And Tory lawyers tells TMZ that they believe that Tory is going to be deported immediately. Or whatever the case may be. So you guys let me know what you think about this whole situation. And also Kelsey saying that she doesn't know if Tory Lanez paid for her lawyer. That basically made her testimony not be taken serious by the jury so they probably went with her first testimony as far as her first statement that she gave to the prosecutors and that landed tory in jail it looked like tory was going to ski away they created reasonable doubt but the jury did not see empty reasonable doubt appeal the decision let's see if they have something to stand on but in any event this was one of the cases of the century it was very very crazy it was a whole lot going on in this whole situation especially when you get down to the situation when it comes to you know kelsey kelsey testified in court okay and basically everything that she said was in favor of tory lanes and she said she don't know if tory lane shot megan or not she don't know if megan was bleeding if there was blood but she basically did testify that megan was angry Angry. Megan sleeps around Megan slept with her man and all this other kind of stuff and then on top of that but what she told the prosecutors is that Tory Lanez did shoot Megan and you know he assaulted her you know and all types of stuff that she was saying to the prosecutors and so basically she was their star witness because when they opened they had their opening statements they was basically saying Kelsey is going to put Tory Lanez in the coffin she's an eyewitness she's seen everything she know everything that went on and everything that happened and she's going to 
to let you know what went down okay but kelsey got up there and said i need to have immunity she ended up getting immunity and then she still testified in tory lane's favor some people believe that she was paid off well she was paid off she needs to be paid before she talked to the prosecutors and told told them that he was guilty and he did it and he shot her okay I don't know why paying her after the fact even matters. But in any event, and it's alleged that Kelsey told the prosecutors that Tory did it. Tory had the gun, Blasing the Third, um, which was this September. So all this time was going on and nobody reached out to Kelsey and tried to, you know, pay her. And then on top of that, there was, you know, things being said that Tory offered, you know, both of the women a million dollars and things of that nature. And then you have Kelsey coming in. She's changing her story. Prosecution is saying, hey, listen, you said this, you said that. And she basically changed up her whole story. So that probably left a taste in the jury mouth as far as that she was incredible. And as far as that she probably got paid off and she took a bribe or whatever the case may be. And then EJ, he testified EJ, he testified in court, basically saying that Megan's behavior was bad. Megan, when she drinks, she gets out of control. She gets angry. She gets to that woo Megan where she gets to that point where there's nothing that you can do. There's nothing you can do to control her. He said he moved the luggage from his car and to Tori's car. And basically, they was trying to figure out who luggage was who and who had guns. And so in any event, it seemed like EJ was saying that Megan does carry a gun and everybody does carry a gun. So basically it seemed like ej was putting it out there that gun could have been anybody's it could have been megan it could have been tori it could have been kelsey because they're known to carry weapons on them and things of that nature and you know and he testified how angry and volatile that megan could be but in any event the, the court just said you know tori lanes is guilty they felt that he was guilty child and in any event we have EJ. He showed up the court. He was outside. Basically, I don't know. He got this pink on. He got this hair going, child. He's out here talking to the reporters. Then he put Law & Order music behind this little clip that he posted to social media. And people was dragging him for it. He got his spotlight, spotlight his day, you know, in fame and things of that nature. The jury probably looked at him and was like, nah, we ain't gonna believe nothing he's saying. You know, it just be like that because sometimes when you come to court, and especially when you black, you got to come to court a certain way. Black people always got to do things differently, dress differently, talk differently, especially if somebody has the faith of their life in their hands or the faith of their money in their hands. They can't be like everybody else, wiling out, doing this, doing that, coming nonchalant. You got to be a whole different way because they will put you in a box, baby, and that's going to be how it is. But in any event, here is EJ basically saying he was not shading Megan. On my flight, I've been seeing these comments about the, the song I put over my post. To know me is I put music over everything, every video, every post. If it fits the moment, I'll find the song to fit. That's just something I do. I don't need to poke fun at anybody else's pain or trauma or make a joke like that. I was subpoenaed to come to court. I know this is a very serious situation, but it was my day in court. That's how I felt. I, don't, I didn't say any names, I didn't make any references, I didn't do nothing of the sort. When people talk about, oh, he treated court like a fashion show, I treated court like a public thing that was going to be seen by the public, so I would never look crazy. I liked my outfit, I liked how I looked. Clearly the people in court liked how I looked. It, that is, that's something that I can't control, but I don't need to poke fun or be insensitive to anybody else's situation. That's y'all being insensitive, I, that ain't me, but I'm clearing up just because.